Now, your flash briefing from Channel 3 Eyewitness News, sponsored by Ion Bank, your financial services partner. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kevin Hogan. The latest numbers of COVID-19 in our state were released earlier tonight. Here's a look at those right now. There are 17,550 people who have tested positive. 1,086 people have died. However, for the first time since the pandemic started, hospitalizations have gone down. Governor Ned Lamont saying that a sign that social distancing is working, but we're not out of the woods just yet. In New Haven, Mayor Justin Elliker says the number of firefighters and city police who've tested positive for COVID-19 hasn't risen significantly. As of today, the mayor says 16 firefighters tested positive, while 19 are out of work and 22 are at the University of New Haven. Six police department members tested positive, 11 are out of work, and three are at UNH. Uh, we want uh, to protect our police and fire uh, firefighters and police officers, uh, not only because we care deeply about them, but also it helps us have more people on the job to respond to the public. Meanwhile, the city's director of public health says they are monitoring nursing homes in the city and getting daily updates. We've got some positive news tonight from the Connecticut Department of Correction. 19 DOC employees who tested positive for COVID-19 have recovered now and returned to work. Also, 67 people incarcerated at the correction facilities in our state have also fully recovered from the virus and are back in their original locations. We invite you to stay with Channel 3 for the very latest on the coronavirus outbreak. We're going to keep you updated with any new developments both on air and on the Channel 3 app. After the snow and rain, now we'll have a quieter overnight and a cold one too. As skies clear out, it's going to turn quite cold with temperatures in a lot of towns in the lower 30s. Many towns could see lows near the freezing mark and that could lead to a little bit of patchy ice in a few areas. But then tomorrow will be much milder. We'll have partly to mostly sunny skies. A light breeze out of the southwest will help bring temperatures into the lower 60s in many towns like Hartford and Enfield. In your early morning seven day forecast, we do expect to see perhaps some showers, if not some periods of rain Monday. Otherwise, we'll have variably cloudy skies and a high near 60. Tuesday, too, offers a slim chance for a shower with highs 55 to 60. Watch Eyewitness News for the latest updates. This is your personalized flash briefing, sponsored by Ion Bank, your financial services partner.